Hello, I'm Mike Robbins, and in this video I'll be walking through using the Speak List component and how to use Knockout Data Binding. So this is the application I'm going to populate to demo the List component and Knockout Data Binding. In this application, you can manage the desktop wallpapers for the Psycho Desktop view. In this main area here, we will add a List component and display a preview of the wallpaper image and some other metadata using Knockout Data Binding. Okay, let's jump into Visual Studio. So this is the model that's exposed by our web service and the properties that we're able to bind to our list component using Knockout. So the first we have the item ID. This is required by a number of speed components. Uh, it's used for things such as selecting the row um, events. We also have the path. So this is the path to the image. And we also have the name. So this is the file name of the image that we can return and data bind to. Okay. This is our page code for our speak application here. So as you can see, we're calling our web service to get our data. In this case, it's entity service. We're returning our result, getting some JSON back from our web service, and setting that into our data source, into the view model and the items property. Our list control component then is data sourced to this data source component, which then provides it its data. You could use any other speak data source item uh, if you wish. Jumping into Cycle Rocks, if we go into our core database, our Cycle client folder, this is where our speak application host is. In this case, we have our wallpaper manager folder here, our um, speak application. So if we go and edit the design layout, you can see we have a, our list control here. So if we edit that, this is where you can set the properties of the list control. So for this example, we are going to be using the tile list. This allows us to create a tile object, which then gets repeated for each item we, we data bind to the, to the component. We can also set here a custom HTML file. So this is where we're going to be doing our custom um, knockout data binding. So on my clipboard, I have the path here. So this is just a CS HTML file. You can also specify a um, custom CSS file for your tile as well if you wish, but in this case we won't. So we save this. On to creating our custom tile. So in the Solution Explorer over here, I've created the same folder structure and our CSHTML file to uh, represent our custom tile as we set up in the presentation details of the list component a few seconds ago. So uh, Psycho gives you out of the box an example um, custom list component. So this is the default one. It shows you um, how to data bind a couple of um, example properties from a model that's exposed. So it shows you to data bind a database, display name path and template name properties to um, elements of HTML. Usually when I'm creating a custom tile, I'll take this HTML as a starting point and then extend this into the functionality I require. Knockout Data Binding works on standard HTML by allowing to data bind attributes and inner elements to properties of the model that's provided by our data source. So I will paste in some standard HTML that I've taken from the standard um, example tile. So the first thing I want to pull out in this custom tile is an uh, image tag. So I will add the standard HTML in for an image tag. Instead of the source being hard coded here, we want the source field to be data bound using knockout to the property that's been exposed via our model. So in this case, if I'm going to our model, we have a, a property called path, which will return the image URL. To use knockout for data binding, the syntax is to add a data bind attribute to the HTML element you want to data bind. So if we add that in here. To tell Knockout we want to data bind an attribute, we add the syntax here. And then add a semicolon. And we want to tell Knockout what element, or what attribute, sorry, of the image tag we want to data bind. So in this case, we want to data bind the source field. And then we tell it which property within our model we want to data bind, which in this case is our path. Uh, property which then maps through to 
our path here from our entity. Also in this custom tile, we want to add a span tag and in here put the name of the image. So if we add some standard HTML and create a span tag, with this one we're going to do something a bit different. Instead of doing our um, attribute data binding as we've done above, we want to data bind an inner text property to the span tag and then populate this. Again, we add the data dash bind attribute. In this example, we want to tell Knockout we want to data bind the inner text to a property within our entity. To do that, we use the syntax of text to say we want to data bind that. And then we just tell it which property within our model we want to data bind. So in this case, it's our name property within our, our model. One thing to note here is that the properties you data bind to your model are arcane sensitive. And if you do try and data bind to a, a property in your entity that doesn't exist, it won't load at all. Okay, let's build a project. Let's jump in the web browser to see what's happened. So as you can see, our data has now been pulled through. So our, our data binding using Knockout is working successful. You can see our image is now again data bound. And so is our, our name. So you can see here you can see our Knockout syntax. And you can see the source field has been populated using the data binding. And the same goes for our span tag. And you can see the inner text has been set as well. Because we're returning an item ID from our um, entity service, you can see uh, this allows us to allows the list control to work with selected items.